Hi everyone, what you're looking at here is my Bass Raider Pelican boat. After about a year's worth of, maybe a year and a half's worth of modifications to the boat and the trailer, um, mostly these ideas are ideas I got online. Uh, kind of a hodgepodge of ideas. So if, looking at the deck there, uh, I got an idea. I got the idea mainly from Max Cast Fishing. Uh, this guy does really in depth showing you how to build it, so I'm not going to do anything like that. I uh, will show you the difference between mine and his, but uh, shout out to him for doing such a great job and inspiring me to do mine. Uh, I mainly did mine because I was putting live scope on there. I wanted to have a deck on there where I didn't drill any holes into the boat. Uh, Max Cast does that on his. I'll show you the difference on mine and his. Also, uh, the trailer itself, I built this as a Harbor Freight trailer. Uh, the flooring, uh, the bunks on the bottom and on the bumpers on the side. Also, I've got rollers underneath the back four feet of it, or back five feet of it, for taking the boat on and off. It makes it easy enough I can load it by myself, so I don't need anybody else on there to help me with that. Uh, but just to give you an idea, I'll show you those things. And also, I'll leave links where you can go to their page below. So basically, what we've got set up here, um, just a quick look as far as the casting deck itself. Uh, there's nothing screwing holding this thing down uh, and what uh, the difference in mine and max cast of course you can see I got the rod holders on there he's got the same on his what you're looking at here is my battery setup uh, this is just a piece of plywood uh, that I have set up on here I can slide this in and out whenever I go fishing I built a little frame box to go around the uh, amp 30 amp hour battery lithium battery which works Two or three days without having to be charged up it's next to my black box i just slide it up under there whenever i go fishing and i can hook everything up when i get to the water uh, now the big difference is here and bear with me here because i've got to get this to go up under here i don't know if it's going to go any higher it's probably not but there is actually another piece of wood up under here and it's built between the frames. I originally, I had built a deck here, and that decking, I put just between the rails. It was a small deck. I just wanted something to stand up on, and I used that for about a year, and then when I got the idea to buy live scope and everything, what I did was I just mounted this top deck to that deck. I built a frame between the two using these same pieces of wood here, I built a frame between the two and then I ran some carriage bolts between those. So basically the setup is that that bottom deck actually holds the top one in because it's locked in there between those two things. So it won't it doesn't really slide around or anything so it's safe to walk on and it doesn't come off. I've been using it for a year. Um, basically I built a transducer mount here. This is the one that I got the idea from online. And I'll come up here and see. How uh, that's set up, this is one inch PVC pipe, some U-bolts right here is the difference. That makes it really easy to turn. This is, uh, inside this is three quarter inch PVC. This right here is another separate piece of one inch PVC that I cut. What is that, about maybe two or three inches long there? And it's actually attached to the inner pole. So it'll actually turn and it sits on top of this other one. You hear it squeaking. I actually put a piece of felt in there. I cut a round piece of felt and put in there before, and usually I use that. It's really smooth, uh, and I'll probably do another one pretty soon. So just to give you an idea of that setup there, also give you an idea about how easy this is to roll off here. And excuse me with the junk under my boat right now, but that's a set of rollers that you can order online. I'll just also include the link there. We can roll the boat on and off and it's easy enough i can take the boat by myself and i do most of the time and i'm not putting it in i'm putting it in a private lake so i don't have a boat dock to put it in i have to slide it off in the water so that's what these things are for these are big long pool noodles i got from five below or yeah i think it was five below i got those there and they're thick ones so look for the thick ones and you can put some pvc between them and a cap on each end use three of them roll the boat off and uh, roll the boat over them. It's just, it's really easy. It doesn't scratch up the bottom of the boat. That's mainly the reason I got it. Uh, I also have this little thing here. Uh, shout out to Bill Tharp, 
or that old bastard if you follow him on Instagram, and I highly recommend you do. Um, this is a micro power pole, and I pretty much own this because of him, so I'm really lucky. Um, but anyway, this is something I take out anytime I'm fishing at six and a half feet or less. I use that. There's my power pole next to it. And this is just basically my whole setup here as far as my boat. So I'm actually setting up seven inches higher there than the back seat, which is actually good because I don't want to hook anybody behind me and I usually fish with somebody behind me. This is my setup on the front. Just raise this up. I've got a magnetic strip there that I attach things to. There's a measuring tape, there's some pliers, um, and the things for my trolling motor. And I usually keep my scale right here so I can just reach down, grab it, pick it up when I need it. Also over here on this side, this is my uh, setup for my GoPro camera. And I actually mount a GoPro with a big battery pack underneath it right there. I can turn this around anytime I want, set it up. I usually have it set up at this angle so I can actually catch me fishing in that direction or in that general direction since I'm already looking that way with live scope. So yeah, this is just a quick video to show you how my setup is. And sorry my boat's not the cleanest one in the world, but I fish in it, so I think you would probably understand. Anyhow, if you guys have any questions, shoot me a line, and I'll try to make sure I include all the links on here or credit the guys that gave me the idea for this. Have a good day.